Shoo! Welcome back, folks, to another episode. We're excited to bring you guys a new show, but before today's video gets started, I gotta say huge shout to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. The Ridge Wallet is light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold awkwardly, bulge in your pocket, and it seriously changed my whole wallet situation. Most people are carrying wallets that were designed in the 90s to carry gift cards and old receipts. I mean, this is my wallet right here. Looks like this. Look at the difference right here. This right here is an unorganized mess. This is the next generation of wallet. The Ridge wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. I love this thing, but don't take my word for it. Listen to the 30,000 five-star reviews. The durable materials means that each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. The Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test it for 45 days. And if you don't love it, you can send it back for a full refund. If you guys want your own Ridge wallet, you can get 10% off and free worldwide shipping and returns if you click the link down below go to ridge.com slash flare and use promo code flare to get 10% off link down below. Big thanks to the Ridge Wall for sponsoring today's video and enjoy the episode. Shoo! Welcome back folks. How's it going? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. We're at the farm right now. Pool jet. Ooh, well, snack, snacky sticks. That's old duck from last year. Oh yeah. Speaking of duck, we are going to be doing some scouting. We're down at the farm. Teal season's clearly over. And well, you know, all that hard work and effort we put into... Well, building the whole pond for duck kind of went to poop because it leaked and the water's gone completely dry. And I've been working over the last few weeks to get an actual well installed with an actual irrigation pump so you can literally go flip a switch and flood it. And everybody's so backed up, they're not going to be able to get to it uh, by duck season. So kind of a bummer. Planned for this for like a year uh, and it just kind of went to poop right before season. Um, we could back the tractor up and do all that, but it's a ton of work and it's just the, everyone's needing their tractors right now for harvest and working and stuff. So we need to go find a plan B. There was a lot of water at the farm still. Last year there was a lot more because there was a flood but we actually are in a drought now polar opposite of last year last year we had unlimited water now very little water but we still have some water so we're actually going to try to take the tank here we're gonna try to take it out and go scout for some ducks today look at what we have as far as water wise goes there's like a riverbed that kind of snakes through the property that you guys have seen in the past and it's really really low like record low i've never seen it like this before and so we're actually thinking we could probably take the tank on the riverbed and if not we could always come back some other time with the that little johnny boat the old low with the old mud motor on it and rip that but we kind of just want to see what the depths are what it's looking like um and seeing if there's any birds in general and then we're going to transition transition to deer hunting we're not hunting here with opener for this is not for a long time but we want to set up some cameras we've got basically a total of 2500 acres here at the farm but not all of it is down here at the actual farm there's a couple other spots there's like the beaver dam spot you guys have seen if you're not new and you're you've seen old videos the beaver dam spot we're gonna go check out there's a survival spot where me and banjo slept over a night in a blizzard that's another nice parcel of uh timber and stuff so we've got a bunch of Moultrie cell cams we're gonna go run out and we're basically going to put out i think we got like eight or nine cell cams and so we're gonna try kind of just spreading them out throughout the 2500 acres to see which farm between all the farms is the best spot once we kind of figure out okay you know we got big bucks here then we're going to set out some blinds brush them in get them ready for deer season um that's pretty much the plan so just just prepping deer prepping duck prepping we're prepping so you guys stay tuned Shoo! wow it's freaking windy out here it's always windy look at the duck pond it is well it's not a pond anymore folks it is dry I mean, we've got a little e teensy little bit of water there there's some there which that don't do us much good and then this so this is the riverbed you can kind of see it now that we're gonna go explore that hopefully we can take this that guy out there and it doesn't float too bad but rip it was a good idea just rip we need to come in here pack it in a little bit more and uh get some pumps actual irrigation pumps and stuff like that but what do you do i mean you got leaky ponds it's just kind of a botch rip to the old duck pond it was a dream it was great i mean we, we did shoot a few birds like literally just a few i mean i shot like seven or eight probably not worth the money but uh on a good note we do have water over there on the riverbed so we're gonna take the tank out there and see if we can crawl around and find some birds look at that dove right there rip this is a nice rant oh. oh it's deeper than i thought right here oh well, yeah we're floating yep. rip which i mean it's not bad it's still shallow but, but i mean look how much water's here this is great duck hunting we're just gonna have to make this work. We're gonna have to put a blind up on one of these sides. I mean, there's not much you can do, but there is a good amount of water here. It's still in the good area. I mean, cornfields by the river, but it's not a homemade pond, I guess. Goodness! Wow, this is sticky. Wow. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> 
Wow, dude, that's the sludge I got stuck in once. Like, it's just sludge, like multiple feet. All right, so we're not taking the tank. We're gonna need a boat, and we're gonna have to find a, a harder bottom somewhere. We didn't get stuck, okay? This thing, you ain't getting stuck. That was about as close I've ever been to getting stuck. It's, it's like if you were to step off, you would sink down to your nuts in mud. Like, it's just not good. Now we gotta figure out how to get back. I've done that. Really? Well, we're gonna have to scout via land because uh, the water's kind of sticky. Shoo! Well, folks, we uh, we gave up on the old Duck Scout. There wasn't much to see. The old tank was not built. It was just a little too deep, a little too deep for the tank. Um, so now we've changed gears to deer hunting, okay? So we've got a ton of cameras. We've got like nine or 10 cell cameras that we're gonna spread throughout, like I said, the 2,500 acres. There's farms up in those hills there. This is obviously the farm here. This is where I shot my doe last year. So last year, if you remember, I shot a deer. It was actually, it was standing back there, but I was standing on this like levee looking thing on the other side there. But that little timber patch there is where we ended up finding it. When we found it on the ground dead, it was inside that timber patch. Now that I've studied deer hunting more, okay, trying to get into it, this is more where I would assume the big buck is gonna be. So there's a river on the other side of this. We've got some nice thick timber patch. And then you've got, well, this is beans, which it'd be probably better if it was corn, but I mean, deer probably eat beans too. But then the other field on that other side of the hill is corn, so I feel like it's probably decent but since it's along a river i mean you can't get any better you got water from the river you've got thick timber this nice tall grass for bedding and then food all in like this little area well it's not a little area but like that's what this area is, it kind of makes up it's what it's made up of so we're gonna go explore i'll probably put two cameras between i might act we're shooting kind of the gap here because i saw a deer trail but we'll probably put one there and then maybe one down there and then we're again we're just gonna move I'll, i might i might put one down there because i know there's a field uh the next field over a lot of deer sit in put one there and then I might run way down there and put another one there. And then there's a timber patch you guys probably can't see, but there's like a cell phone tower and that timber right there. That's a really good spot too. We'll probably put up a camera too there. And then we're gonna run over and there's a bunch of farms up in the hills there, um, which is like uh, that's where also a lot of big deer are gonna be. So that's pretty much the strat. We're gonna go head up into the woods here, see what we find. You guys stay tuned. All right, we're headed to the first spot. We got one camera, but look at this. See, this is why I stopped here. This is a this is a game trail, whether it's deer or whatnot, but you can see the opening here. It's not anything insane. It's not super packed down, but it, there's a nice little uh, deal here. But Oh, dude, this is just deer country. Look at this. Thick timber, grass, and like I said, next to food, next to the river. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk until I find a trail, like a solid, solid trail. And then start looking for blind opportunity spots. Once I find that, I'll set up a camera because if I start getting stuff on the camera, then I'll just come put the blind there. But yeah, right here, I mean, you can see there's game trails all through this. That's why this is all packed down right here. Yep, like right here, that's a main trail. Dude, this is where you're gonna this shoot a big cool, buck. Yeah. This is it, this is the spot. It just looks too good. It's too good. And there's so much timber. Really? Dang. You about died. That was scary. That was not good. It is thick, but like the big buck walked out like you could. You could shoot him out of distance type thing. So we have, we've set some, what did we catch? I think we caught some raccoons up here looking for coyotes. But trying to, like this, I feel like this is kind of a nice open spot. We just got to figure out where do you want the blind? Because we're not doing a tree stand. We're probably going to do a ground blind, which means you're going to probably want some cover. Unless you just bank on them getting used to it which could could be a thing. I say we put a camera here somewhere. Right Plan on putting a blind over there if it works, right. if we start seeing something. So, I mean, the, the trails are, I mean, these are the trails, you can see them. I, I think they kind of go wherever, it's but this is this is a nice open area, so I think this would be good. So, I'm just trying to decide like this. If you if you put it here and you faced it this way, you're gonna see a lot of opportunity for, for a deer to walk by, I guess, so. I think we'll get it set out here and show you guys the finished product where we, where we decide to put it. Uh-oh, we got a problem, folks. We found somebody else's trail camera. We're on private property. Dude, that's totally fresh, too. I'm not gonna get that's in it yet. From, no, this one's definitely new. No, this is somebody else's, dude. What? This is total private property. So what you need to do, set this camera up that points at this camera. So then we catch who, oh, dude, oh, let's freaking go. Cool. I love when people do this, because it's like, you you know like you can't be trespassing we're gonna catch a trespasser now we gotta hide this camera now this is turned it i don't care about the deer this and is look, it's aimed right down this trail right no so yeah do, see like whoever it's, it's whoever this spot. is we're on the same page as far as deer goes but also 
like you because you're on my property. All right. See, I don't want to get in it because then they're going to check. It could be a cell cam where they get a, a notey. We need to put this. We need to hide our camera. Somebody's trespassing. Like, how do they get here? They have to go on the, from the river and climb up. All right. So this is Operation Catch the Poacher. What's a, what's beautiful is this is a cell cam. So we're going to be able to know right away. And if we're down here, we can go bust them in the act. Dude, this has just got epic. All right. So we didn't. Did we walk? We didn't walk in front of this, right? Because no, we came no, in from back. Okay. Behind, yeah. All right, so we cannot walk so, that way. I don't want him to have footage of us. I don't want them to steal it either. These are oh, nice cameras. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if they see ours, what if they just... I mean, that's why I have You're a like, cell oh, cam. Yeah. If I have a cell cam, I, I will get proof. Okay, wow. I literally was, like, looking for the final spot, and I was like, dude, that's a camera. Why is there a camera right there? Son of a gun. What? We got freaking trespassers out here. You got to be kidding me. All right, so where do we go? That's just too... I feel like that's just too far. Like, these things... I mean, they, they have good range. Like, I mean, here's You're obvious, totally though. Right? They'll never see it. But at the same time, if they get them on set, like, it's it comes to my phone. Yeah. So if they, even if they steal my camera, I still have proof. I mean, what do you do at that point? Yeah. Dude, I feel like we should, no, what we do is we need to set up a booby trap. Like, when they come to check this camera, they just, like, fall into a pit of spikes. Really? You know what I'm saying? No, no. Well, what's the one where they, like, step in it and, it, like, grabs their foot? And oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I think it's a, I don't know what you're a talking about, but it's a, but a, pun, a punji pit. I, I'm pretty sure it's called a punji pit. You're out of you, your mind. you fall and there's just, like, bamboo, sharp bamboo. Dude, I think it's called a punji pit. I don't think that's a okay, comment idea. down below. Should we set up some type of booby trap for a these punji guys? Pit? Punji pit. Oh, we don't have anything to read his their SD cards, do we? Because if we took his SD and read it, I guarantee there's pictures of him on it. <laughs> well, you're almost is it's it punji stick? Punji stick. Yeah. Yeah. But what if you like... what if you put it in a pit? See. Okay. Yeah. Punji stick. All your spike yeah. spikes sticks. Uh, yeah. 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 Punji. Anyway, we don't have anything here to read his SD card because we could take his SD card and then look in it. I'm sure there's got to be footage of him, right? When you're like setting it up and walking away, dude. Wow. This totally changed this video, bro. This totally changed this video. We've got to catch these guys. I don't know how old it is, though. The thing is, like, it, dude, it looks new. It like, looks new. It's got to be. It's got to be relatively new. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna game plan. And we'll let you guys know. Boys, it's getting worse, dude. Okay, I've walked this wood, these woods many times last year, hunting, and uh, we did squirrel hunting out here and trapping. I've never noticed this. Somebody's got a deer stand up there, dude. Stand that's so it, high, by the way, and that that tree looks dead. It looks like it's about to fall. Does over. it? No, that stand's not new, right? It can't be. That thing looks like I mean, freaking, it's got leaves and vines growing. That on thing it. looks like a bag of weenies. So, but that makes sense, right? Someone has a cam yeah. to see what deer come here, and then they shoot them. We have a trespasser on our hands. I'm about to square up with somebody. I hope somebody pops out of the woods. I'm ready. I don't have a gun, but I'm freaking ready. It looks like he got burnt. Did you have a fire here before? I I didn't have a fire. Really? This guy might have. Seems you like he's he just. Had a campfire? Oh no, that's that's gotta be. Gotta, that camera looks new. That looks old because like there's sticks on it. But hey, all I gotta say is whoever's out here hunting, him and I are on the same page. So I, that, that, I think that gives me credibility because I'm guessing this guy. I mean, he's probably decent at deer hunting. Maybe he's not. But oh man, now we gotta figure. I I mean. Hmm, that tree stand does not look like it's been sat in in quite some time. I mean, how do you even, how, how do you even get on it, or in it? Well, there's not even a, wait, hang on. There's not even a ladder. Was this freaking Tarzan going up there or what? Dude, that's so high too, like, that is sketchy. This must be old. This has got to be. The camera is not old. I can tell, and well, whoever's transparent, he's got us on camera now, because he's pointing right at us, so. All I gotta say is f you, but, uh, Damn. hey, I'm kind of salty, I'm not gonna lie. Damn. Trespassers suck, okay? It's one thing to sneak into a, a fire pond. It's another thing to set up a trail camera on someone else's property for deer. Like that's straight poaching at its finest. Yeah, that's too far, yeah. too far. I'm all about the fire pond sneak vibe, <laughs> but I'm like, someone's gonna, little... someone's gonna have some nuts on them to be like, Sounds kind of hypocritical screw... to me. <laughs> someone's gonna have some nuts on them to be like, screw this landowner, let me just go set up a camera and maybe shoot a deer. Like there's only one reason why you would set up a trail camera. To shoot a deer so maybe he's big into nature you think he's just he's just a watcher yeah kind of like so. banjo you, i can see banjo setting up some cameras for no reason kind of like this spot though too like what if you put it here right here this is a nice That's pad a nice i mean i feel like their trails are going to come in here through here around here you're going to get something here's the trail you see the trail right here going right to that guy's trail camera i say we stick it right here that way when he comes to check the camera we might get him but there's also going to be opportunity for deer so well i guess we got we got trespassers so we're gonna set up some cameras around here but we're gonna also go set up some cameras for uh these other other spots maybe we'll find more poachers okay it's just apparently that's just the cool thing to do now these kids out here so anyways camera boom camera number one set out on to number two Shoo! 
Woo. Well, folks, we made it to the next spot. So perspective, we put that one camera there. That's where the trespasser is, is that timber. That big clump of timber um, is where I shot the doe, but I don't think that the deer live in there. I think they, they'll come out and they'll eat, but this is a nice pasture right here. There's also some nice bedding grass. And then there's this river levee, and which I, I, I told Ty, I was like, we should just go check this out. Rip. But I bet there's a trail up top here. So I'm gonna see what this is for deer. Again, would I set up a blind here? No. Yep, right here. Right on top, you can see the depression. There's one game trail that's gonna wind this whole thing. So here's the river, if you guys wanna see it. There's a whole river, like literally just a giant river where the deer can crawl down and get water. Right there, wow, this is freaking windy. This is more of a, let's see what's in the area trail camera rather than, hey, we're gonna put a blind right here. Let's see if, what walks in front of it. See what is navigating the levee. Because if there's bucks here walking, because the other thing, so here's what I've learned studying deer. You don't necessarily want to hunt their food. Meaning if you plant a food plot, you got a corn field, soybean field, you don't want to hunt it. You want to hunt the trail to them getting food. Because a lot of those big bucks eat at night. They're nocturnal, but they start moving right at sunset. So if you're on that trail, before so like let's say they're gonna go eat in that cornfield but they take they bed down there and they walk this right and i'm gonna know for, from the cell cams that the big buck walks down here at 6 30 every single night i'll set up over there and shoot him as he runs across before he gets to the cornfield a lot of big bucks are shot that way i mean i'm sure you can shoot your fair share of big bucks inside food plots but from the research i've done i've watched hundreds of youtube videos from experts that do this for a living and most of them are saying you don't hunt the food plot you hunt the trail to the food plot that's how you get your most uh, opportunity for big bucks. We're talking, this is, like my backyard's got some deer, but like this is big buck country, like giant bucks. So we're gonna put it on this tree. This is gonna be a walking path here for trail camera number two. Shoo! What the hell was that? What was that? I think it was a stick I shoot on. But uh, <laughs> hey guys, uh, made it to the next spot. This spot's not looking good though, I'll tell you what. What's crazy is we duck hunted this last fall. We didn't even deer hunt it because it was water, um, but uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit. This is what we're dealing with, all right? This is actually really good bedding. This is buck territory. It's thick, it's brushy. I mean, that's all, there's like five, six acres. Of, I think it's CRP right there. And there's, if you remember, there's a blind, like a really old crappy blind um, that we've seen before out here. It's over there. And there's some deer stands hanging. Oh, right there, look at that. You see that deer stand? So if you remember in the duck hunting videos, I was like, look at the deer stand. Boom, that's actually probably a huntable deer stand. I could probably actually hunt out of that. So I want to set up cameras here. The problem is, the grass is way too tall. Uh, you're not gonna see much. So we're gonna have to let this die down a little bit and then maybe come in here. But this is like, this is the this is the juice, okay? If I was gonna pick one spot, cause look, you could you could shoot, it's, it's, it's thick, but it's also thin, the trees. You could see a deer almost 360. If you're rifle hunting, you could shoot them pretty much any, if you see a deer, you could probably shoot it um, type of thing. But they do have a really nice cover and stuff. So we're going to, uh, we're not gonna hunt. Well, we're not, we might hunt here, but we're not gonna put a camera in here. I wanna put a camera more on the edge. So there's like, there's corn and bean fields over there. Put one on the edge and see if there's anything. I'm sure the deer are using it, but for the sake of using a camera, you're just gonna get pictures of grass moving because they're just too tall. So, but I wanted to show you guys this and talk about it because this is probably where we will be doing some hunting this year. It looks like this now it'll probably look different by the time we actually start hunting hopefully we just need a really good cold snap to kill off the, this vegetation um so it's not quite so tall but this is big buck country right here it's just this big section of timber lots of corn fields and then there's water that we are going to duck on where we had the tank earlier was this same piece of water but it was just further down there that makes sense so anyways that's my spiel let's go find a place for the camera all right so here's the tree we found it's kind of i mean there's a lot of tall grass here but it basically looks out to the open field but a lot of big bucks walk edges. So they'll walk the edges of the timber next to the cornfields. So this is gonna be an attempt to get an edge walker until this vegetation kind of dies down. Well, as you can see, Kyle and Andy are harvesting right now, which is good. It's good for uh, the deer. The deer can come out, eat corn that they didn't harvest or whatever, I guess. But I was talking to Kyle and he was saying that, so I was saying we were gonna go up in all the farms that are up in the hills. He said that they have not harvested them yet. This is the first one that they're harvesting is this big area. So we are unable to access deer land that we want to on those other hill properties. So uh, we're gonna have to call it good. We, we did put cameras 
um, in the locations that I wanted to. The main timber that I shot the deer last year, this timber that we duck hunted last year, but it looks really good. And then one levee little river edge stretch. Um, the rest of the cameras I wanted to put were up in the hills in some different parcels. They're completely filled with corn and beans and we can't get in there. So we're gonna have to leave it at that. But on a good note, we do have cell cams out where the trespassers are. So honestly, I'm gonna give it a week. I feel like most people probably check their cameras at least once a week, maybe two weeks, especially since we're getting close to deer season, they're gonna be out there. So we're gonna call it good with that. Uh, I don't think, cause I don't think Kyle's gonna be harvesting those those hill farms for a couple weeks. So we might not be able to get out there right away. But basically what I'm saying is stay tuned. We'll give you guys an update when we hopefully catch the trespassers. Shoo! What's going on, folks? We're back, and we have caught the trespasser. I checked my phone this morning, and I saw a cool, crisp, clean photo of the trespasser. I'll pop up a picture right here. That's Buddy. So, Banjo's here to investigate. We're about to go take a pee. You go You go ahead. Go ahead. I'm Detective Banjo. Today. Detective Banjo. <laughs> Look at that smile. He's so excited. He's ready to kick some ass. If that guy's out in there in the woods, when we get out there, Banjo's gonna 1v1 him. Now, looking at the stature of that individual, good luck, Banjo. Anyways, uh, so, <laughs> we are going to go out to the crime scene and see what he was doing. I only had that one photo that I showed you guys. Um, It looked like he was, where we put our camera, where they their camera was to the left and he was walking to the right so i'm not sure exactly what he was doing um i'm not even sure if our camera's still there because that was the last photo i have of that spot um but we do have some other pictures of deer from the other camera spots because we put a camera in that that wooded area there and then a couple over there so once we go investigate i'll show you guys some pictures as well from we do have some deer um on camera some other other animals as well but we got him he's on camera he's been identified but when he goes to check it out because i want to see honestly if he left his camera because if his camera camera's gone then he probably saw our camera and then he probably won't come back but if his camera's still there it means he either didn't see our camera or he just doesn't care and it's just waiting to 1v1 banjo over there yeah yikes wow. yikes that was i don't know about that that was interesting Any, we, we need anyone got a pew handy actually another thing but i don't think i have a pew that's like the first time in a long time I've never had a pew. Oh, there's one in that mule. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I got the old six shooter. I think I've got a six shooter in this mule. There's always pews. I always have them. Like the other dad and AK in the back of my truck for like a week. No idea why, but it was just sitting there. Let me see if I got the six shooter. Banjo might need backup just in case Buddy wants to get squirrely with us. Rip. Rip, Banjo. Worry, oh, I got, I got an idea. You can hit him with golf balls. Nah, nah, I got it. What, what do you have? I got it. Gun one and gun two. This guy. Yeah. I'm surprised. I don't know where my, my six shooter m must not be in here. I thought I had it in here. I don't think it's in the other mule. Yeah, I got too many mules now. I can't keep track of what I put in them. Hey, we got Tanner, right? So we could always. We have nothing to shoot it with. We have nothing to shoot it with, though. There you go. Nah, the no worry, tennis, I got it. The tennis ball launcher. Shoot a tennis ball at Buddy. Let him eat. Oh, look at that yeah. recoil. All right, well, anyways, we are going to uh, we're gonna run out there and see if Buddy's out there, if they have the cameras out there still. You guys stay tuned. All right, folks, I made it to the spot here. So this is where, as you can tell, there's snow on the ground. That's freaking sick. Um, but this is where we set out our camera. Be on the lookout for track. Oh, rip. That's a big one right there. I say look up for tracks. There's deer right there. Really? I think Buddy, I think Buddy came out here pre-snow, so there's not going to be any foot tracks. But that's a deer right here. Interesting. Okay. Whew, it's cold out here today. It's actually gonna be good though, because we can probably see some better deer trails too if we need to move our camera. I mean, I've seen a couple deer on this cam, but no big bucks or anything. Like I said, I'll show you guys that later. So, okay, so our camera's right there. His was this one, right? Yeah, yeah it was this one. I don't see, because it was either, it would have been right here. Because Okay, so we put our camera there. It wasn't right next to his. It was, no, it was this one. This side. was it. What in the hell happened there? Good Nick. Banjo, Banjo crawl down there and tell me what's down, down there. You're in the, Dude, that, you know, it looks like a punji pit. <laughs> I said we <laughs> should set up a punji pit for the booby trap. I think they already did it. What if he set that up for us? Oh, really? He's like, they're gonna come back and just look for my camera. So I'm gonna set a booby trap and it, and it didn't work. Like, maybe. Maybe it was covered in leaves and the snow made it collapse. He was trying to break your leg, Banjo. Look at, Rip. you stick your one boot in there, your leg snapped. Yeah. That was not here when we were here. No, that I would have seen that. Interesting. Literally, this is it. This was the tree, 100%. I was sitting up high like this. Cause it was, well, oh, it's an airplane. I thought we were gonna have to fight somebody because then we talked oh yeah see no that this is it see the tree stand so we saw that we were talking about how it's pointed directly towards the tree stand so it's, it was this tree so his camera's gone banjo he's on to us and he made a punji pit for you this guy he, dude he's smart do you think he has microphones what if ooh what if his camera was video with audio and he heard us talking about the punji pit and he's like he he played the the uno reverse card on us and he's like you thought 
I'm gonna make one and you're gonna fall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we were standing, we were standing right here talking about it. Yeah. Maybe we triggered the camera and he heard us. This might be a bigger, this might be a bigger investigation than I thought. Man, Banjo, I think we need to have, we need to do shifts, 24-hour shifts. You gotta sleep here on the ground in a ghillie suit. Wait for Buddy to show up and. 24 hours. That's a long. 20, 24. Time. We'll get a little campfire. It'll be a good vlog series. Imagine staking out the forest for 24 hours. We have multiple shifts. You see him, just shoot him. No, don't shoot him. Don't, no, don't do that. Do you, do you, okay, do you really, do, that was not here though, right? No, like, I'm not making not this up. That. We would have seen that, because we walked all around here to see, like, what was going on. I mean, granted, do you think the leaves may have been tall enough then? To where we just didn't see yeah, it, I maybe? Mean, it did get cold between That is now. so, like, you're telling me that's not a coincidence, though, that, like, pretty close. he knows we would come down that trail and just yeah. fall to our death? Dude, I think, I think Buddy had a video camera feature on his cell cam, on his trail camera. And heard us talking about a punji pit, handed us the reverse Uno card, and thought he was gonna pull a fast one. But I'm looking, I don't see any any other signs of I mean, unless he moved, yeah, we gotta make sure he didn't move his camera. His camera's gone. Camera's, camera's still here though. And our camera's there. So he didn't steal I I figured he would steal our camera if he look at that trail. You can tell that's still a trail. Oh yeah. We had it set up in the right spot. You can see that. The uh now that it's snowy, you can definitely see where right here and then this is a little commons area and then it shoots off that way there's a trail that runs that way so we got a camera yeah how's it going so he but he walked in that video he was walking this way he was about he might he might have been like back here Somewhere so here what what was he walking that maybe way he's walking for the trail maybe he put it further down the trail he his might camera, maybe, he maybe might have just moved, moved his it. camera he did if i mean you would think that like he was right here how he would have to have seen that right like i feel like that's best. i think that's kind of yeah. hard to make you, you you see him down there see what we need though if we need if we had a lot of snow you can see tire tracks, you can see footprints. Like we could track this guy back to his house if there was a lot of snow. I got one suspect. suspect. Oh my goodness. We're English is tough. Oh we, we have what? One person that I think it is. Who? Soggy Bannett Wiener. Soggy Wiener Bannett? So Soggy Whatever. Bannett Wiener. That was a great play. <laughs> English is tough. Who, who do you think it is? Soggy Wiener Bannett. The Soggy Wiener Bannett. He's got you think he's back? This he is revenge. Be. Yeah. Okay, if you guys don't know, it's okay, I set out minnow traps by my house at a creek and somebody. I, I put wieners in them, and they were soggy. And somebody came and <laughs> stole them. Now he is known as the soggy wiener bandit. And Banjo thinks it's him. You he think he? Back, you think yeah. he's back? You think he wants this, your deer. He wants. He he wants something. So I, we're me and Pooljet were trying to figure out. He was standing about where I'm at, but he was headed to the west. Where do you think he's going? I think he's going further down. I mean, there's there is a chance. There is a chance our camera didn't pick up him coming this way. Because maybe, maybe he walked outside. See, we parked our mule there, but what if he parked his mule down there for some reason, right? True. And walked in, and then he got his camera and then walked back or something. Why, but if his camera was that far, why would he walk that way? You think he's, he's probably just sitting there. I think he's, it, watching he's, he's sitting there in a ghillie suit waiting for us to, waiting for you to walk by and he's going to pounce like a little freaking cougar. He's going to attack you, Banjo. This is, but the whole thing is set up for Banjo. It's not even us. Yeah, he knew we were going to bring Special Agent Banjo yeah. and this is what, this is his whole plan. He's going to kidnap you. Rip. Yeah. Anyways, well, that's pretty much all we got for uh, this investigation. I'm going to keep the camera here, um, but let's go ahead and show you guys some of the pictures we got from this camera and the other camera and then the one further down of animals that were in and around this area. And you guys stay tuned. Well, folks, here we go. This is uh, the pictures. I, I skimmed through them, pulled some, basically the best of the best. Three cameras. You guys saw them set us out. This was number one. Number two is further down along the river, and then number three was in that other pile. So this one is further down. Uh, Banjo, you like that doe? Oh, yeah. Banjo's never shot a deer, so we're on doe duty for you. Sure. I mean, I'm on doe duty, too, let's be honest. <laughs> so we got doe there. This is this camera. Yes, this camera, doe. This camera, mom and fawn-ish okay. looking. This camera, mom and baby, mom and baby. Buck. Little buck. Little buck. That is that one down there. And this is the timber on the other side of the farm. We got a doe. That's right where we're standing, doe. Right where we're standing, doe. Yeet! Look at that guy. Why is it running? He's pissed. wonder Something. if that was when Jimmy came down here and... Scared it off? And scared him off. Dude, I, lo I low-key just... My heart just sank for I don't know why. That leaf, see that leaf attached to that tree? Yeah. Dang. I looked and it looked like somebody was walking. Ooh. Dude, I'm not even, it had me freaked. I was just about to be like, take him. You know, no. God, that really, whew, for some reason, that actually did get me. I'm not even lying right now. Like, YouTube aside, I thought we were dead. It looked like somebody was just coming around the corner. Anyways, on to the next. Ooh, okay, there you go. Okay, that's a that's, shooter. That's down, that's at the other uh, parcel area down there by that's the. Nice. That's one, two, three, four, five, ten point. That's a bit, I'd shoot that. Ooh, Yodi. That's a shooter. That's a shooter. We got to do some Yodi. Oh, big papa. Oh my gosh. That's, that's straight down. Down here dude that's big pot that's yeah. the one you want i don't know if that's i mean they're pretty far. i mean maybe a mile apart 
Those two. Okay, there's another one. Little guy. Just a just a wee guy. That's on the levee here. Oh, we got a Yodi. Look at Buddy. Oh, rip. That's a daytime Yodi. Trapping season. It's coming up. And we got another doe. And another doe. And that's it. Well, that's what we got on cameras over the last few days. One shooter buck. He didn't come here, but he went down there, and then he went to that other timber spot that the last camera that Ty and I set out. So there's some shooters out here, but there's also some does. I mean, it's starting to get to that rut time. Um, we have this weird early snow, so I think everything's kind of going to be start moving in the next week or so. And then it's supposed to warm back up, so I don't know what that's really going to do to everything. But if you guys have any deer hunting tips, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, you think the trespasser was trying to kill us with the punch? Pit or Ty and I, we might just be blind and didn't see it, but he pulled his camera. I think that means that he saw this camera. Otherwise, why would you pull the camera, right? Like, it's not really, I mean, it is deer season, but it's not like rifle yet. It's not the rut yet. So I think Buddy came out here, saw our camera, realized he was busted and got out of here. So if you're watching this, don't come back or I'll sick banjo on you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you guys on the next episode.